Hello and welcome to this quick tip tutorial about how to change the audio in your clips. Now if you're like me, you've got a video camera and it's got two audio channels and sometimes you record in stereo but sometimes you will have two separate microphones on each of the individual channels and you will want to be able to edit those microphones separately. However, as you see here, when you bring in your footage you end up with a single stereo channel with the two layers gang together and you can't separate them and you can right click on them and you can try to do this and you can try to do that and it doesn't do what you want to do. How do I change these stereo channels into two mono channels so that I can edit them separately and do different bits and pieces with them? Well the answer is delete it from your timeline and go to your project panel. Take the clip in your project panel and right click on it and then go to modify and then audio channels and then you get this very interesting dialog box so at the moment it's telling me that it is stereo and it's showing me that one's the left and one's the right and if I click mono and there we've instantly got two mono tracks one two um, and if you have a mono track and you want to treat it as stereo here's the place to do it you'd have one mono track showing here you click as stereo and instantly you've got two stereo tracks which are basically a copy of each other and of course you can even change them to 5.1. If I click on 5.1, I'll be doing a tutorial on 5.1 at another time, but you can actually have the opportunity to start to map the channels to various points. Initially it maps them to left and right, but of course you can then have the option to take them back and forwards into the middle wherever you want if you change them to 5.1. But for us, let's change this to mono. Click on mono, click OK. And then if we take our clip and we drag it and drop it on our timeline, you'll see that it's got two mono tracks. Let go, and they're the two mono tracks. And I can separately edit those two mono tracks in sound booth or however I want now. So I can take that particular track, edit in sound booth, render and replace, and that launches sound booth. and you'll see that I've got both of those as individual files so I can double click on one, double click on the other, you won't see a difference because these happen to be identical but I can actually change one, so let's actually change this one, let's change its uh, magnitude, so double click to select the whole thing and just pull it down so you can make it a lot smaller, whoops, we've made it disappear okay so it's pretty much disappeared now on that particular channel and then save it, so file, save and then go back to Premiere Pro, you'll see that that channel has been completely reduced to nothing and that channel's still got all its layers in. So that's how you can change a stereo to two mono tracks or a mono track to stereo just by using a simple tip and then you can edit them separately in an application such as Adobe Sound Booth. Okay, so I've completely reset Premiere Pro because there's one other thing that's really helpful when it comes to separating out audio tracks and getting them right at the beginning. And that's if you know that all your footage is coming in as, say, stereo, but you want it all to be treated as dual mono or, say, dual 5.1. And you don't want to have to go through the process of right-clicking your footage in your project panel and going through all those decisions. Well, there is an option in the preferences that makes this whole process much faster. So on Mac you would go to the Premiere Pro window and on Windows you would go to the Edit menu and then you go to Preferences and then you go down to Audio. And you get a whole load of interesting bits and pieces which we'll cover in other tutorials but the one that's of interest to us is this one here that says Source Channel Mapping. And at the moment it says Default Track Format is Stereo. Now if you know that you want your stereo tracks because you've recorded on both tracks on your camera as two separate channels and you want them to be two separate channels, rather than doing the other process of right clicking and changing them, what you can do is you can go to the source channel mapping and make the selection here. Drop down and go to mono or mono or stereo or 5.1 depending on what it is. Okay, so we're gonna select mono, click okay. And then now that we've done it before we have brought any tracks into our project panel and into our project, now any video that I import into my project panel will always treat the audio as dual mono. So let's double click in the project panel and then select one of these clips. Doesn't really matter which one, and um, they haven't got an awful lot of audio in, it's just for demonstration purposes. So let's choose this one. It looks the same, but look up here. We've got all the information, but it says it's 48 kilohertz or 48,000 hertz compressed 
to mono intro tape so that when I pull that down to my timeline I can't see the audio because it's at the bottom of my timeline because at the moment my sequence is set up with stereo tracks let go pull it up and there are my two mono tracks at the bottom so that's how you can use your preferences to do the work for you so that if you know you have a whole load of tracks to come in rather than having to right click on them and go to the modify audio channels you can check that single preference so edit preferences audio and change the source channel mapping from its default stereo to either mono or if you know you're in 5.1 to 5.1 or if you know you've got a mono track and you want it to be treated as stereo for output later on you can do that so this is where you can use the preferences to save an awful lot of work my name's Andrew Davis. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching.